Hey guys, it's Kaylee here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a bracelet that I have made a tutorial on, but the tutorial, to tell you the truth, sucked. So, I'm going to do it again, and I believe I took it already off my channel, and so I'm just going to show you it in better quality, and just, just like to show you how to do it the right way and where you can actually see. So, let's get started. I'm going to be using a couple different some weird colors, I guess you could say. Um, I'm just using, I have um, clear and white only because I think I might run out of white at the very end. But I have these, so I got some weird kind of poker, sh poker chip bands. So I'll be using this for pretty much the inside and the white and clear from the, um, like border and I'm using a metal tipped hook um, I'm not going to use a crochet hook like I would normally do for this so you can pretty make this on pretty much make this on any loom so yep let's get started now it's probably going to have a really weird view because of this so I'm, I'll do it sideways and just kind of lift it up I guess since the other way kind of is re really weird so first you're going to gotta go down the middle with your main color for the inside mine is poker chip and I'm just randomly picking them out so you're just gonna do it like this and go all the way down your loom like this just straight down just the middle row now if you have like a really big loom like a fun loom or something um, that has more rows then you just pick pretty much one like three rows out of the six or whatever and you just want to place them okay so you place it all the way to this end peg and you would do this normally with your arrows pointing away from you so technically that's what we're doing so you want to make sure if you're doing it sideways like me you want the arrow pointing towards the right so you and then you paint point put them on that way now that we have this you're gonna want to put on these arrows so this one I'm going to actually do two of every color. And with, still with your arrows pointing to the right, if you did it sideways, you're going to take it like this and you're going to go out like this. And you actually can, you're going to do it at the top too. Sorry, I forgot about that. So you're going to do it at the top like this. And you're going to make these little arrows pointing the opposite direction. So just do that all the way down your loom. Um, every single peg. So just like this. And um, I'm just going to fast forward through this way I do this. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't get it on. So I'm on. So I'm at the very end. And you're going to do this one. Oops, that's the wrong color. Uh, where is it? Okay. 
you're not going to do this one, so you're just going to leave that. And I'm just going to push the sides of my arrows down and the middle. It just kind of helps them go all the way down. So I'm just going to push that all the way down. And then you're going to push each end all the way down. You're probably wondering why we haven't added the sides, but for this design, you're actually going to add them now. So again, go back to this side. Take whatever you want for your side color. Use white. And pretty much what you're going to want to do is just go, we'll want to go here. You're going to go here. I'm sorry. You know these bands that we put here? You're going to actually take those off. I'm sorry. I forgot. You can't put one there because your white goes there. So your border edge color, you're going to go like that. Make an arrow with just the board color. And then go up the sides like this. Single band. You're going to go up all the way down your sides of your loom. Oops. So, just like this. And you're going to want to actually close it off right here and go to the middle again. Now go all the way back and do your next side. Remember, just single bands, straight across, one after the other. Just like this. And remember, you can do any colors you want. So, oops, and then go to the middle. So now you can just push them down. You can keep them up. I'm just going to push them down because I don't like mine all the way at the top of the pens. Now you can either use, I would recommend using colors that you use for your bracelet. But I'm going to use, for your cap band, I'm going to use this one. There's three ways you can make it. With your fingers and you can just twist it around three times like that or you can take your hook and wrap it around so it has three loops because a lot of people count it differently and I'm one of those people so just until you have these three loops and then you can just pull it and put it on your loom but for me that's what I'm gonna do but the other one you can also do is I'm not you put it on the pin with the rubber bands but I'm gonna do it like here and you're just gonna wrap it around three times again so since I already did this and I just don't want to undo it I'm just gonna take it those three with my hook sorry you can't see anything and pull it right there so now it kind of it serves as a cap band and it's a little easier to pick up so now we're going to loop it. So please don't go ahead because this is a little different. So I'm just going to pick up the top band. And the cap band is going to be a little tight so I'm going to loosen that. And right here. Now you're, what you're thinking is probably going through the middle. But we're not going to do that. And you don't go on the middle at all. So you're just going to go on this right pin. Or this pin right here. And just push back the white bands and grab your middle um, band for me it's poker chip you're gonna go like that now go in here again oops and just grab that poker chip just the poker chip now grab the white band oh my gosh my nose <sighs> like that And like that. Now go under the go under the white band again and loop. And go under again. And then you're just gonna do this. And just grab it. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. What is it? Tato. Okay. 
so you're just going to repeat this step. So you're just going to push it back the border and go up. And then you can go push back again and make sure you do loop the border after and just do that. Then just take this border color right here and move it up and make sure it's catching all the bands and I'll do it one more time for you and then I will just be right back and I will show you the next step. So you just do that. I'm going to take the sides, move it up, move it up. Okay, so your pattern should start looking like this. Okay, the first one should be a little funky, but that's okay. So I'll be right back once my, I do my whole entire loom. Okay, so once you get your um, last one's loom to right here, I'll show you what's next. But first, your loom should look like this all the way down. So at the top here, there's just one band, and that's your border, and you're just going to grab it and pull it right there to the middle. Same on this side. Like that. Now, the only thing right here that isn't looped are these middle bands right here. So let's go all the way back to the very beginning. And as you can see, I pulled this back just to make it easier again. I'm going to pull it all three loops to right here. Then just grab that band and pull it up forward. And then I'm going to release this again. Okay. So on this one, we need to grab that red band. So you got to go all the way down under all those bands. Grab that red band or whatever color yours is and pull it forward. Do it again. You're going to need that red band, or that black band, sorry, and pull it up to the top. And you do it again. But you obviously don't want to be doing it to the side. Oops, just put that back on there. You want to be doing it like this, going all the way down till you see it, and grab that just single band. Do that all the way to the end of your loom, and I'll be back when I get there. Okay, this is my last one. I'm going to go down all the way grab that bottom band and pull it up to this pin right here this is what your loom should look like okay now you probably want to grab a C clip real fast so I'm gonna grab mine um I'm gonna grab my C clip and hook this in the cap band now because I just think it's easier to grab all uh, all three loops. So to make it just a tiny bit easier, I'm going to pull it to that pen like I did before. Take my C-clip or any clip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Totally like flipped on me. You're just going to kind of put it upside down and push right there and make sure it's in all of them. Then just hook that up and off that cap pin right there. So it looks should look like that. Now at the top, just to make sure that you don't lose your creation, stick your hook all the way through and kind of poke it out the side. Now you can take any color band here, but you will have to do an extension, so remember that's the color that you'd want your extension to be. Mine is going to be poker chip. I'm just going to pull it one single band through, through it all. Place the other end on my hook and pull this over unhook it and pull tight now that's a slip knot just don't pull it too tight or it could snap or also we're going to do something else and i know i said i'm not going to use my crochet hook but i forgot that i do do this um i just like to put my band hook in the band the wrong end of it and just undo the side so you just don't ruin it i don't like pulling off my bracelets i like to kind of peel them off or whatever so I'm just going to take off just the borders on both sides and the middle should just stay on there because that's got quite a few um, bands on there okay last one take that off now I would go back here where this was and go down up pull it up up pull it up 
take, go in and pull it up. Just go in and pull it up. And just do that on all the pins. If you want, you could be very gentle and pull all of them up, making sure you catch every single one, just like that. Now on this last one, you're just going to want to carefully take it off because that's where it's all holding. So here's the escalator bracelet. So here we go. Now we got to make an extension for it real fast, so let's make an extension for that real fast. You can either do this on your hook or on the loom. I'm just going to do it on the loom because it's faster and easier. Now, um, this is why I didn't want you to tighten this too much, so I'll fix you if you did that. So I'm just going to grab some poker chip bands, and you're just going to lay them on one row, single bands. And to how many ever bands you think you need, I think I usually have about eight on these kind of bracelets, and you want to count the slipknot band too. So counting the slipknot band, I have five, so I'm going to just keep going. So there are six, seven, eight, and what was the other color? Okay. Oh, that's actually eight. Okay. <laughs> so I have eight on the loom. I have seven, but counting the other one, I have eight. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fix our slip knot real fast so we can get that out of the way. You're going to grab your hook, and what I do is I'm going to just put this on my finger for now. You're going to look at it, and if you can see that little knot right there, that little knot, what you're going to want to do is try and hook it with your hook. It's kind of hard. The tighter it is, the harder it is, but if you get down kind of under the bracelet and right here, I'm trying to grab it, it keeps slipping. Okay, then when you get a hold of it, let go of that slip knot and gently pull this up, not to snap it. Just enough like that, and it shouldn't come undone too bad. So now you got this, just pull it to give it an even um, length. Now, right here, we need to attach this to our bracelet. So we're just going to take those two loops that are on our hook and put them right on top of that green. Now, it is a little hard to loop like this, so I'm just going to go in, grab those just the blue bands, and pull it to right here. And you can, like, move it so the bracelet's not on the side, and I need that right there. And I'm just going to kind of weave it into my loom for a second. And then you can just grab the bottom band, pull it forward, bottom band, pull it forward until all the way at the end. Now, if you did less bands and it doesn't fit, when you take this off and it doesn't fit, you can um, just put a slip knot on the last band and it'll make it longer, or you might actually have to add more. But at the end here, you're just going to grab the two bands and pull this up. And uh, right here on the bracelet one, be careful because it is holding your creation too. And just pull it up. Okay, now you have two bands on your hook. So, what we're going to do with it is that we're going to keep it right there real fast. And I'm going to put it on my C-clip. And it is pretty hard to put it on here. I, I know that some people would have a difficult time with that. So, I'm just going to do like what we did with our other attaching our bracelet. And I'm just going to add it right there. Flip my bracelet over. Put the sleeve clip right there and just hook it on there and then take it off. So there is my extension and here's my escalator bracelet. So I hope you guys like this tutorial that is actually the real version or like the fixed version of my tutorial for it. And I do know that somebody didn't already invent this but and I know that a lot of other designs that I do are invented already. I just like to help them get out there because some people might not know them, but they might know me. So this is just one of those kind of designs, but just do whatever you want, and please just don't hate comments about it. Um, I know that my friend definitely gets them when she does the designs that I do, and so she's just a little more popular than me. Um, she gets more comments and stuff like that. But just saying, we're just trying to help this video get out to other people so they can make it too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you liked it. So please give it a big thumbs up. 
comment down below if you made this bracelet and it turned out great. And subscribe. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. See you next time on my channel. Bye.